Hey, what's up everyone? In this new lesson, I'm going to show you how to install Unity, the latest version, which is 2021 LTS, on a Linux machine. So here I'm not using Windows or Mac OS. This is called Pop OS, and it is a Linux distribution. You could also use Ubuntu. We're going to follow the same steps. And if you want to learn how to install this operating system, I've created a separate video for that. You could check it out. I will add a link to it under the description. So before we get started, consider subscribing to our channel, that helps me a lot. And let's jump right into it. So to download Unity on any machine, we have three steps, which you could find under Unity Download. The first one is downloading the Unity Hub. You could download it for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. I'm gonna click Instructions for Linux. Here you will find all of the instructions. Basically, we're gonna run a few commands using the terminal, which is similar to CMD on Windows. To open it up, for me it's here, or you could search for it. Then let's start with the first command. I'm gonna copy it, then paste it, and hit enter. We need to provide it with a the password. Then let's move to the other command to add the public signing key. Paste it under the terminal window and hit enter. Then we have two more commands, sudo apt update to make sure that your system is up to date. Finally to install Unity Hub, first I'm gonna use clear. And we have the final command, sudo apt get install Unity Hub. I'm gonna write it. Then let's hit enter. As you can see, it's downloading. And once the installation is finished, we can move on to the next step, which is selecting your Unity version. But before that, if it doesn't work with the terminal, I highly recommend you to install Unity Hub using the shop. For example, under my operating system, which is called Pop OS, we have this Pop Shop software. We can open it up. And the same thing if you are using Ubuntu. There is an application that is called Ubuntu Software Center. We can search for Unity Hub. For me, it's already installed. Make sure to hit the install button. Then we can open it up using open. I'm gonna agree. First, we need to activate the license. Using manage license, we need to log in. Basically, you need to create a Unity account. I have already have one. I'm gonna enter my email and password. But if you don't, make sure to hit create one. Then you could follow the steps to create a new account. For me, I'm gonna enter the email and the password. Then sign in. Then let's hit activate new license. I'm using a free version of Unity. That's why I'm going to select Unity Personal. And I don't use Unity in a professional capacity. Then let's hit Done. And yeah, your license successfully activated. Let's go back. And we can install a new Unity version under Installs. Then Add to add new version. I'm going to select the recommended release, which is Unity 2021.3.3 LTS version. And let's hit next. Under this window, Unity is already selected, but you could add the Android build support to create Android games or iOS. But don't worry, you could add these modules later on. I'm going to uncheck the documentation. I don't want that. And let's hit done. And there you go, now it is installing. It's gonna take a little bit of time. And there you go, that's how we can install Unity on a Linux machine. It's almost the same for Windows or Mac OS. 
all of them needs this unity hub application so that you can install unity version now we can move to the final step which is creating your first project so to create a new project you could go under projects then new you could also select the version we have one version 2021 LTS let's give it a name like first game then we can change the location I'm gonna put it under my desktop and let's select the folder here we have few options like 3D, 2D or 2D URP if you open the internet connection you will have more options let's select 3D game and hit create I'm gonna close this window for now and yeah now it's creating the project and all of the necessary files then you will get this interface which is the unity interface we have these windows like the scene the game view and so on but we have one step we haven't installed an ide or the text editor that we use to write the code so if we create a new c-sharp script under the assets using right click create c-sharp script let's call it player manager for example then if we open it up we have this message that visual studio code is required to edit unity scripts so let's hit yes and that will take you to the website to download vs code or you could go to this link I'm gonna select it from here then let's hit install and that will download this file you could also find the steps to install it we have two commands that we need to run under the folder that contains this file let's copy the first one then let's open the container folder using showing folder and let's right click and open in terminal to open a terminal window under this directory which is the downloads folder and I'm gonna paste the first command and let's hit enter then yes to accept and yes again and once you install Visual Studio Code we can go back to Unity and I want to mention that you could install VS Code for other operating systems like Windows, Mac OS and the Linux distribution you could go to this link then you could download it for Windows like 64-bit or 32-bit the same thing for Mac OS and once you do that you could go back to unity then we need to make sure that we are using vs code to edit our scripts to do that you could go to edit then under preferences external tools we can select external script editor make sure that vs code is selected then if we open the script again and you need to install these extensions the .NET and mono6 SDK extensions but you could simply hit OK and the script will open up in VS Code let's check this one and hit yes I trust the authors and there you go now we could start coding we have the start method that is called once and the update that is called each frame make sure to install the C sharp extension as well you could hit install or you can search for it from here so this is the extension section let's hit install and I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one